So for this problem, uh, we need to find the inverse of matrix A and use it to solve the equation AX equals B. Um, so how does the inverse help us solve AX equals B? The inverse of A is A to the minus 1, and A to the minus 1 times A times matrix A is going to equal the identity matrix, so that'll just disappear in this equation. We have A to the minus 1 times A, X equals A inverse B. That just reduces to x equals a inverse b. So that's how we're going to solve for x. All right, so we need to find the inverse of a. Now, if you remember, if we have a matrix uh, a, b, c, d, the inverse of that is going to be 1 over the determinant times uh, we switch a and d, and c and b become negative. So that's how we find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. Um, so let's do that for A. We need to find the determinant of A. Use my determinant signs. So the determinant of A is 3 times 5 minus 2 times 7. And that is equal to 15 minus 14, and that's equal to 1. Awesome. So 1 over 1 is just 1. Um, now we just need to perform this switcheroo on A. Um, so A inverse becomes 1 over 1. I don't need to write that. Times switch 3 and 5. And 2 and 7 become negative. All right, so here's our inverse. We just need to multiply it by b in order to get x. So x equals a inverse. Times b, and b is minus 1, 3. All right, so that's 2 by 2, that's 2 by 1. The answer is going to be 2 by 1. Multiply it across a row by a column. So 5 times negative 1 uh, plus minus 7 times 3 and minus 2 times minus 1 plus 3 times 3. And the result of that Negative 5 minus 21, that's minus 26. And that's 2 plus 9 is 11. So the solution to the system uh, AX equals B is X equals minus 26, 11. All done.